But for now, if you read Matthew and Luke carefully, you see from Matthew 1 all the way to 2, Matthew is giving you Joseph's perspective. It's clear, right? It's the annunciation given to Matthew, uh, to Joseph. The angel comes to Joseph. Joseph is the one troubled. Joseph is the one told, take Mary. Joseph is the one who's told, take the child to protect his life. Joseph, Joseph, Joseph. But from Luke 1 all the way to 2, it's Mary. Mary, Mary, Mary. Angel comes to Mary. What Mary experienced, what she saw, right? Everyone got it? Yeah. So if we see that one gospel emphasizes Joseph, then it's not surprising we're getting Joseph genealogy. But if the other gospel is focusing on Mary and her perspective, what she experienced, then what we would then assume is that though Joseph is mentioned in Luke 3.23, it's because he's standing in the place for Mary's father because tradition says Mary's parents had no children and they conceived Mary in their old age miraculously. So it makes sense that Mary's husband would stand in the place of her father representing him. 